guys so today i'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video in today's video i will be breaking down the incredible 5.2 million dollar lebron james exquisite sale this morning came in by pwcc um so of course there's a lot to talk about but i'm going to be focusing on how this is going to shift the whole market um but before we get into the video i do want to say as you guys know i have my sports card invest membership program and despite the fact that the market's been fairly slow recently we've been able to find the cards that have still been going Going up just a few weeks back, we were buying these Joel Embiid Select Silver PSA 10s for just around $1,000. They're currently up to around $1,700 in a span of a month or so. Um, so some big money there. Um, just a lot of different plays we've been able to make that have been really going up. Um, we were buying 2012 Select Basketball boxes um, for just a fraction of the price that they sit today. Um, so a lot of money to be made with our membership group. If you guys would like to join in on the profit, click the the link down below to sportscardsinvest.com um, if you would like to join our hi ultra high-end membership that we just launched with some cards that are 10,000 plus you know and a lot of these cards I think can be 100,000 plus dollar cards in the span of just 6 to 12 months um, so if you guys would like to join that you can use code APRIL to get you 25% off but without further ado we're going to go ahead and hop right into this video so as we know, um, if we go ahead and search up this sale, there is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of press around the sale. Um, so as we see here, we're already starting to see articles, and this news literally just broke. Um, so as we see here, um, it was announced by PWCC that LeBron's 2003 Exquisite Collection BGS9 um, with two 10 subgrades, which is very, very important um, because that is a big part of why this card sold for 5.2 million. Um, so as we know, the previous record for a basketball card was 4.6 million, um, and that was Luka Doncic's logo man. Um, and that made it onto ESPN. That made it onto pretty much you know every single big media sports news source. Um, so as we can see here, if we search up 4.2 million dollar Luka Doncic card, we'll see ESPN articles. We'll see pretty much everything you can possibly look for. Um, so a lot of, you know, attention comes with this and with the lot of attention, a lot of people come into the market as we saw when two Jordans sold for 738,000 each, we saw a huge boost in the market over LeBron, Kobe, MJ, and I think this sale is going to be great for the high-end cards of LeBron, Kobe, and MJ because if someone's paying $5.2 million out there for LeBron's BGS9 exquisite, um, you know, you can only imagine how much, you know, I would say a lot of different um, logo mans would go for and a lot of you know ultra high end for Jordan Kobe LeBron um, so it's definitely great now what that means for the market it could mean a boost in a lot of LeBron's other cards which I think would be the most immediate effect on you know from this sale I think a lot of LeBron's Topps Chromes are going to see a good increase. A lot of these different cards that people now feel would be undervalued if someone is paying $5.2 million for his upper deck rookie ex or his exquisite collection. Sorry. Um, but yeah, $5.2 million is a heavy chunk. This card it is out of 23. Um, so if there was going to be a card that I thought would next sell for a price like this, I would have guessed LeBron. Um, and is exquisite because this is probably one of the most iconic sports cards out there right now. Um, so it's definitely, you know, a huge sale. I'm expecting a lot of media coverage around this card sale. Um, you know, I know it's going to take a little bit of time. The media usually is a little bit slow for stuff to get around like this. Um, but it won't be long before we see this on the headlines of ESPN, on the headlines of SportsCenter, um, you know, pretty much everywhere. I believe this would be posted. Hopefully LeBron gets you know sees this and possibly has some and whatever it is um, but there's going to be a lot of media coverage around this a lot of media coverage in general for the sports card market which will come out of this which is absolutely great um, for us collectors us investors um, you know if you do own any LeBron Kobe MJ I highly recommend holding right now if you do not own you know it could possibly be a great time to get into some of his tops chrome some of his tops cards even if you want a little bit lower end of his cards I think overall this is going to cause a great amount of people to get back into the market which is great um, but yeah I'm just waiting for some big media coverage 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, if you would like to join in on our membership program, click the link down below. Use code APRIL for 25% off the ultra high-end membership. But other than that, I'm out. Peace.